Hello everyone and welcome back to Shady Oaks Farm. Um, we're going to try to do a little fishing video today. That's why I'm out here. Uh, well, I'm out here always, but not to do a fishing video. But uh, we're going to try to do one today, see if I catch anything. Um, it's been very warm. Today's a pretty nice day out. It's only probably low 80s. It's been 100, 104 uh, the last week or so. Um, you know, no rain hardly. We've gotten some rain lately, but uh, boy, I tell you what, it's really dry. The pond is down. It's probably down, if I look at things, it's probably down eight inches or so, which is probably the lowest it's been in a long time. But uh, anyway, we are going to try to uh, do some plastics here. I got some frogs, uh, some flukes. Um, I do have one topwater on the uh, one pole and uh, see if we can uh, catch us a fish and see what we catch. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one. Um, you know, I'm not saying I haven't tried. I tried to do a catfish video and it didn't work out. I didn't catch any catfish. All I caught was a striper and a largemouth. So, using hot dogs and night crawlers. So, I'll do another one. I'll try another one. But, you know, the weather's just all over the place. So, we don't, you never know what you're going to do today. I mean, I don't know, you know, if I'll even get a bite today. It's just, it's just, you know, some days I come out here and I can catch four or five or six. A lot of dinks lately. Um, you know, nothing big. I've caught a couple, couple two pounders, two and a half pounders, but uh, no, no uh, four or five pounders. So, anyway, I'm gonna get going here and see what we can do. I'm gonna start off with a fluke. Throw up in the, uh, up along the bank, up in the moss, and see if I can get anything. You know, I've been throwing a frog with a uh, jig head on it, and I've been catching a few that way, but. Uh, I'm not tearing anything up. Crankbaits I've tried. Whatever you try, it's gotta be slow. They're not chasing anything right now. At least they haven't been. You know, no buzz baits or, or spinner baits or anything. I can't catch anything on those. I've tried some frogs, top water, uh, no luck. I'm surprised about the frogs, top water sometimes in the moss, but. Probably see behind me here, there's a big tree down behind me. One of our big oaks. And we're gonna take the rest of it down. We had a storm come through the other day. Probably had 60 plus mile an hour winds at least. And uh, we were sitting on the back uh, deck watching the storm come in. It was coming in from the west, so we were protected from the back deck. And uh, we watched it fall. My wife had done a video of the storm a little bit. And as soon as she turned the video off, um, it come crashing down. So you can see it's pretty good size. That's just one. There's three strands that go out on that tree. And unfortunately, I knew it was going to It would come down someday. Um, just the way it was it was hollow inside so no surprise we just hope it wasn't gonna come down this soon kind of sad that tree's got to be you know 100 plus years old there we go I changed colors. I went to a silver, I had a silver one on there, and I went to a purple. He still like a nice one. Oh yeah, he's pretty good. It doesn't get off. Pull him in there, there we go. He's hooked pretty good. That ain't too shabby. That's probably a pound and a half, something like that. But uh, see a little closer there. Pretty good. Good. They're good and healthy. But uh, yeah, that's that's nice. That was fun. First fish on tonight. 
let him go back. So what I did here, I'll show you what I switched to. And I don't know if it makes a difference or not. You just don't know until you try. He tore my heck out of my lure. I might not be able to use it. See if I can get another one out of it. Yeah, I think I can. Nope, not going to. <clears throat> well, I got a bunch more. Thankfully. He was, he hit that pretty good. So, I had a, um, if you can see that or not, but I had this kind of a silver, kind of a silver sparkly gray on there, trying to mimic a shiner, but I changed it to this green and purple, if you can see that or not. That's a fluke, three inch fluke. But uh, anyway, about the third cast out there, I caught one on that. So let's see if that makes a difference or not. We're gonna try it again. Let's move on around. That was fun. I might say myself, that was fun. I had fun. I don't know if you had fun, but I had fun. Hopefully you had fun watching me have fun. Tell you what, after that 100 degree weather, what a beautiful night. Or I should say evening. There we go. That's a little dink, but I'll take anything. Oh, he got off. He was a little one. But you know what? I'll take a little one. They're biting. That's fun. Maybe we're on to something here. Maybe they, maybe they like this color. I don't know. We'll find out if we catch a few more. Well, I still count him as two. He wasn't in the boat. I don't know if you get to see him on the camera until I see this video, whether you get to see the splash or not. I need a cameraman, right, on the front of my boat. I like Jimmy Houston. Oh, I had a little bite there. Got anxious. Took it fast. Felt like a little one, but you never know. I've had big ones take it not very hard and you think you got a little bite and it's going end up being a big bass. So you just never know on that bite.
But that's promising. That's another strike on this color. Sometimes going to that dark color in this water. You know, dark color, dark stained water. Oh, he bit the tail off of it. <laughs> Trying to change up. I'll probably find a hot bait and run out. I told you I have a friend that uh, I gave him all my used baits about a couple weeks ago and he made me a whole uh, whole bunch of frogs. Now granted they're all they're all the same, pretty much the same color. They're a brown and a dark brown, but I've caught some on them, so. But, uh, you know, he must have made me about 50 frogs of that color. But I might try that sometime, I don't know. Melting your plastic back down. <clears throat> and reusing it. All right, let's see what we can do here. Get the tail off of that one. There we go. I changed. Sometimes you got to do that. Oh, that's a nice one. Sometimes you got to do that. I had that fluke on and I have a frog tied onto one of these. And with a little, probably 3 8 inch uh, weight on there. Sometimes you just got to go with a little different strategy if you don't catch anything. You know, I threw out, I don't have any cast on it. I thought, well, let me throw that frog out. He's a nice one. You get me wet. Oh yeah, you don't want to come in, do you? Now, I always send a picture to my my buddy who uh, makes these frogs for me. So I'm gonna take a snapshot of it. I like to kind of rub it in. Not really. It's kind of a thank you for making these. I'll show you what I use. Once again, I've told you that before, I smashed the barbs down these, but he's probably three, three and a half pounds, three and a quarter. Nice bass. They are very healthy in this pond. Nice, good color to them, dark green. Very nice. And there he goes. He's unharmed. Let me put this frog back on and I'll show you. I don't have, I'm limited on colors on these other ones. I have to buy some more from him. But he makes me a good deal on them, so. See if we can catch another one on a frog. That was very nice. In fact, he hit that bait and I missed him and I stopped and he hit it again.
I can tell him taking it. I can see my line move. There he goes. Little one, but I, I again I, I toss it out by those logs and just let it sink. He's a dink, but that's fun to catch. You know, I like to catch all sizes in here. Shows you my population. You know, I got little ones in here. I got this is probably last year's spawn. But he's a dinky, but you know what? He's fun to catch. A little fat little burger. What you been eating, buddy? <clears throat> Again, I caught him on that fluke. Throwing by a log. I'm going to throw another one out there one more time. You know, sometimes you get several up those logs. I think I got another cast out of this guy. Go throw it over the other one. You know, he hit it. I could see him taking off with it that first time. I threw it right back in there. Just letting it sink. I say logs or stumps. Look like logs sticking out of the water, but they're stumps. Try it again. Make sure my hook's buried. Good enough. Oh yeah, that was a good cast. Oh man. Must be a dinky one in there. Playing with me. Oh, over the log this time. There we go. I'm going to wear out my welcome on it. One more. <clears throat> and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw a top water over there and just see if we can curry something over the top water. Right. Drop in the water. Hope I don't get rained out here. Got some dark clouds moving in. Not yet guys, don't rain yet. Well, it's starting to rain, folks. Well, it doesn't get any harder than this, but I'm not going to stand out here and get wet or sit out here and get wet. You know, that wind quit blowing and the bite shut off. All right, folks, it's getting harder out here. Time to pull it in. I don't know if you can see my boathouse from there or not, but a new option we added. We got a wireless, I can turn the lights on from here. So when it's dark outside, I'm coming in. I don't have to worry about it, I can just turn the lights on from here and uh, go in. Well, anyway, 
I'm going in. I'm not going to get wet out here. It's getting harder and harder. Thanks for uh, watching. I uh, appreciate everybody uh, coming out and watching my videos. I don't, like I said, I don't put a lot out, but uh, you know, someday maybe I'm doing a lot of work. Someday I'll give you a house tour. Um, I'm tiling right now. We're not done yet inside, but I'm tiling the kitchen backsplash. And I wasn't going to do it this early, but it's been 100 degrees outside, and I thought, what a better time to do inside work and air conditioning. So, one time I go outside to cut tile and stuff, I go to the shop. But uh, anyway, we're almost done. I had to move some things. You know, even in a new house, had to move a couple. There's a couple outlets that were too high. I moved them down. And, uh, you know, other than that, it's not, it hasn't been too bad. But uh, anyway, we'll do a house tour someday. But thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video. Oh, that's a large mouth. Look at this. Man. That's funny. You know, we know one thing. Live bait works well. well that's a nice largemouth right there. Let's hope he didn't swallow the hook. Nope. Look at this, guys. Easy catch there. Look at that. Came right out. Look at this sucker. Man, that's probably three pounds, three and a half pounds at least. Let's put them on the scale and see. That's crazy. I've been out here for what? Five minutes? Three sixty six, three point six six. Not too shabby. Whoa. Well down there, buddy. A little over three and a half pounds. Man, oh man. Go back to your home, buddy. <laughs>